In today's video, I'm taking this picture and I'm going to show you how to make your own decoupage napkins. So the first thing I did was take this other napkin that I had and using tape on either side of the napkin, I separated it. I took one of the plain pieces and taped it to some printer paper, making sure to tape all four sides. Next, I placed it in my paper compartment of my printer with the tissue side down. I printed the picture and here's how it turned out and I thought it looked awesome. I'm going to be using it to decorate a box and then I'm going to be putting some yummy cookies inside. So the first thing I did was take the other piece of napkin that was plain and using Elmer's glue I just covered the whole box all around except for the middle where it was see-through. Next, I cut my napkin that I had just made in the printer so I could separate it from the printer paper. So you do want to cut all around the napkin where you put the tape and then you can separate it. And here's how it looks. I decided that I wanted to keep the see-through part of the box and I was going to cut out the middle of the napkin. So I just had the little snowman, the snowman baby, the tree, and the little scenery part. I was going to take out some of the blue section. So I decided that I would cut in this area. I had also made a copy on regular paper that I could test out at first before applying the napkin. After I did that, I placed it on the top of the box just to make sure that I had it in a good spot where it was covering the yellow parts of the box. And then I laid it over after applying some glue behind the napkin. I also wanted to make sure that the napkin went over the edge of the bottom of the box. So I used a brush and I applied glue at the bottom as well. just for a seamless edge. After that, I cut out more pieces of the napkin that I had made and placed them around the box, just gluing them on. And I used the paintbrush to just dab down the glue so it would stay into place. Now there wasn't quite enough napkin to go around the whole box. So I used some deco art paint in three different colors of blue to try and match up the same color as the napkin all around the box. If you want to see this video in its entirety, you can check it out. I did it on a live stream and I'll link it in the description box below. I decided the box needed a little bit more of the embellishments from the paper. So I took the original paper and I cut out a few of the little scenes and glued them to the sides. This box came in two parts and for the inside, I had these napkins that had 
these beautiful trees and scenery on it. So I decided to cut them and glue them to the inside of this section of the box. And it really worked out because of the scene and the trees complemented the outside of the box very well. I did end up painting parts of the box as well, the end part. I just left the back yellow, but the part that was going to be outside of the box, I painted that. And when I put the two boxes together, they turned out beautiful. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. But I really love it. I think it looks awesome. I'm participating in the Christmas cookie collab hosted by Brenda over at Monner's Market and Annie at Crafting with Indiana Jones. Make sure to check out their links in the description box and also check out the playlist for all of the yummy cookies. Like these sprinkled waffle cookie nibblers that I made using waffle mix, but you could use pancake mix and water. And then I mixed it and put it on a waffle iron. I closed the lid for one minute. And once it was completely cooked, I opened up the lid and then using tongs and a knife, I flipped over the waffle piece and just rolled it over on itself a few times to make it into a stick shape. Then I covered it just to squeeze it again. You could use a panini pan as well for this. And then I placed it to the side. After I made a few of them, I went over to my dipping station, or you could use a fondue pot. And I inserted the stick into the chocolate. Now you do want to shake it a little bit just to get the excess off. Now I didn't put it in the sprinkles right away. I set it in the freezer just to cool. And then I dipped another one. I have a lot of videos on my channel doing this exact process. And if you wanna see them, I'll link them in the description box below. It only takes a few seconds for the chocolate to start to set. And then I place it into a container of sprinkles and just rolled it around. I just want to completely cover the chocolate. After I do that and make sure that all the sprinkles are on, I place the stick back in the freezer or the fridge to cool completely. And then I take another one and do the same thing. This time I decided to use the scooper to just sprinkle on all of the candy pieces. And it tastes so good. The candy pieces and the chocolate complement each other and it almost tastes like Smarties. It's so good. Here's how they turned out after I dipped and sprinkled them all. And then I placed each one of them in a cellophane wrap for freshness. And here's how they look in my box. I think it looks amazing and so festive for Christmas. These make a nice gift for that special someone. And there's so many other varieties that you can make, including 
marshmallows on top or peanuts. If you like peanut butter and chocolate cookies, click on the next video.